While you're doing the empty garbage task, be quick and pull the handle before the leaves touch the surface of the machine. In this way, you can complete this task much faster. Here's a comparison. Similarly, we do it here too. Here's one of the best ways to do a card swipe. Take the card, slowly swipe it until here, and then quickly swipe it till the end. Done. Let's try that again. It works. The start reactor task is one of the longest and most confusing tasks in the game. So suppose you're doing this task and you can't exactly memorize all the squares at once. Just close the task. Now reopen it to continue from the same step where you left it. This task in shields can be done standing near the railing. It's safe to do the task here as compared to this spot because it's kind of a corner. Also, if an imposter finishes you here, there is a chance that the other crewmates won't notice the body. The align engine task is a two-step task. Firstly, you need to align the upper engine and then the lower engine to complete it. Here's a trick to do it in a single step. Hold the knob and bring it towards the center. As soon as it's in the center, tap on the knob once. That's it. Suppose you're playing a match with a single imposter, and you're standing next to one of the players near the camps. If a sabotage occurs, you can clearly say that this player is not an imposter. Because when you come close to the security cameras, the security button replaces the sabotage button. Hence, it becomes impossible to sabotage standing close to the camps. Similarly, if a sabotage occurs while someone is standing on a vent, you can confirm that he is a crewmate since the vent button replaces the sabotage in this case. Take use of sabotage efficiently. Whenever you finish someone on the right, call a sabotage towards the left instantly. Players around you would run towards the left side in order to fix the sabotage. Similarly, if you finish someone on the left, call for a sabotage towards the right. Most of you try to complete this steer navigation task by dragging the lines towards the center, but the fastest way to do this is by simply tapping on the center. The lines automatically get aligned. Here are two strategies to act innocent. Number one. Suppose you finish someone, instantly walk away and go inside any nearby room. Now wait here until you spot any player around. As soon as you spot one, go with them towards the body. By doing this, no one will suspect you because both of you found the body at the same time. Number two, we'll use the doors and vents. So here's a player. We'll finish him and quickly close the doors. Now let's vent towards the reactor. Wait for a while and go towards the body along with someone. Again, you won't be a suspect. The free play mode is a great way to practice where you can roam around the entire map. Also, you can go near this laptop and select to be an imposter to practice venting and sabotages too. Most of you still don't exactly know which camera covers which location. The first one covers this part of the map. The second one covers this, third, and the fourth. The cooldown timer freezes whenever you use a security camera or the admin map. It also freezes when you're inside a vent.
While playing, if you get disconnected from a server, you can join the same server without entering the code. Just click on this arrow. As you can see, we join the same lobby again. Suppose the visual tasks are turned off in a game. You could still verify your crewmate by trying to do the same task which they're doing. If a message pops up saying to wait until your crewmate completes the task, you can confirm that they're not an imposter. If you don't have the same task, check for the taskbar to go up. If you enjoyed watching this and want a part 4 of the video, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Let's keep a like game of 100k. Hope you guys do it.